What's up everybody, it BMF Season 2, Episode 4, we see Lamar Silas getting his nickname, The Beast, from his cousin Alvin and embracing it. At this point, Lamar is a broken man. No money, no crew, can't get it up, has to walk around with a bag on, ugh, standing in his underwear, gazing into the mirror, having doubts about himself. Lamar now has to humble himself to have his cousin Alvin change his bag. And honestly, when his cousin started messing with him at this point, I seriously thought Lamar was going to shut Alvin's water off, but this just shows Lamar's connection with his cousin. We also learned that they have been close since Lamar first moved to Detroit as a kid. And Alvin goes on to tell Lamar that he is a beast. And at this point, we can see Lamar embracing who he is, a beast. Alvin also ensures him that he will be able to have a love life again in three months. So just chill out for a few months. Now Lamar is back on the move and he goes after the two 12th Street boys who shot at him at the end of season one and also hit him on the shoulder, Tiny and Nido. First we see Lamar go after Nido. He beats him down with a piece of wood. As Nido is gasping for his final breath, we see Lamar dump the bag in Nido's mouth. Ugh. Oh my god, I've been watching gangster movies and whatnot since I was a kid. And this right there is the nastiest death scene I have ever seen. Or at least off the top of my head. Next up, we have Tiny preparing to go out to see a lady friend. Looking good. Smelling good. Ugh. And we have Lamar appearing out of nowhere like Michael Myers and a fight breaks out. It seems like Lamar wanted Tiny to have a fair fight because he gave him a chance to see him before making his move. Unlike Nido where he just struck him in the back with a 2x4 or whatever that was and just beat him down. He gave Tiny a fair fight. And after a solid fight... Lamar finally gets the upper hand and chokes Tiny out with the shower curtain. Now Tiny could have very well faked his death pretending to lose consciousness in an attempt to get Lamar off. However, I doubt that Tiny survived this attack for the very reason I believe we are going to see many of the Detroit cast eliminated from the show one way or another as the Flannery brothers head to Atlanta and as Meech moves to Atlanta permanently. Speaking of Meech and T, Lamar gets one more shot at them as they are fleeing Detroit and on the way out of the city to Atlanta. Lamar rear ends T's bins, then tries to get on the side of the car so he can flip them. But T maneuvers through traffic and gets away from Lamar. So with the Flannery brothers on the way to Atlanta, what is next for Lamar? And have we seen the last of the beast on BMF? This is kind of a trick question because I think we may have seen the last of Lamar on BMF. But it has already been announced that there is a BMF spinoff series in the works called BMF Immortals. And I feel like there's a real possibility that Lamar may be the star of one of these series called The Beast. BMF Part 2, Book 2, Book 3, Book 4, whatever. The Beast, Lamar. In this series, we would get a close-up look at a real slime life. Where Lamar is doing whatever he has to do to get by on the streets of Detroit. Robbing, killing, selling dope, breaking into houses all the low life things that he be doing but if we have not seen the last of Lamar on BMF his next move is obvious and that is returning to Monique's to see his daughter Zoe and when Lamar finds out that Monique now also has a child by Meech 
this could be a big problem for Meech. We could for sure see Monique making bad decisions moving forward, like letting Lamar back into her life because it was revealed in the last episode that she is dabbing into the yay. And that stuff is a downhill spiral. So for sure, keep an eye out on this storyline moving forward. And before I go, we saw Lamar and Meech have a face-to-face -face in episode 4 in the interrogation room where Lamar compares him and Meech to the Joker and Batman where neither ever get the best of each other. They just sharpen each other's skills. And as Batman had many rivals, Catwoman, the Riddler, Two-Face, the Penguin, and many more, the Joker will always be Batman's number one rival. And with the Flannery brothers moving on from Detroit, this would be a perfect opportunity to see the Lamar character get his own spinoff and see that character develop. And we could always see plot twists on different Immortal shows, whether it's Terry's show 263 or Meech's show, that Lamar, the super villain, could appear at any time. There you have it. Leave your predictions of what you think is next for Lamar in the comments.